So today I'm going to do a live demonstration. It's going to be part of the Active Active Data Center series. So this is going to be a NSXT layer 2 stretch network across multiple vCenter. And I'm going to do a live migration of VMs across vCenter. So before I begin the demo, let's take a look at the design. So I have two vCenters over here. So that represents actually two sites, site A and site B. Each site has its own uh, vCenter. Okay. Couple of VMs over here. These are on NSX uh, logical switch that is spanning across both sites. Um, so basically, it's using Geneve overlay across sites. So to pay attention in this uh, demo, it's this Web One and Web Two virtual machines is being load balanced by NSXT load balancer. So before I live migrate, I will show you that um, you know these two web servers is accessed by the load balancer virtual IP. And after that, I do a storage vMotion over here, right? Because I don't have stretch storage across site. So then again, after the migration, you can see that the load balancer can still access the web server, although it's being vMotion to the other site. Okay. And um, I will also do a continuous ping across the VMs to show that, um, you know, that's, it maintains connectivity during the vMotion. Okay, so on the NSXT manager side, you can see that in uh, on the fabric, it has two vCenters, right? Uh, on the vCenter side, I have configured enhanced link mode, so you can actually access uh, the both vCenters using either vCenter, right? So to show you that um, the inventory is being synchronized, I'm, what I'm going to do is show you that a couple of logical switcher, so you can see that the last one is being created is for project 07. Right, so this is on the Jurong data center or J01 data center. On the other data center, you can see that the logical switches are actually being synchronized. So over here, I'm going to add a logical switch. Okay, I'll put PRO J08 representing project 8. So you can see from here, right, it's being created, right? So basically this uh, logical switch is being synchronized across site. So this benefit you from, you know, um, requiring you to set up like port groups across both sites, right? So on the on the vCenter side, you can see that um, the newly created switch, let me see, open up. So you can see over here, this is the newly created one, right? So you can see that the inventory of the logical switches is being synchronized across site. Okay. So this is something new in uh, NSXT where you can actually connect a single NSXT manager to multiple vCenter. Right, so I'm going to show you the load balancer. I'm not too sure why the screen is like this. Okay, so on the load balancer side, um, I've configured a virtual server. You can see that this 10.20.1.1 is going to this pool, right? And the pool members are 17, 16, 10, 11, and 10, 12. Alright, so basically these are just machines. Let me show you over here. So these are the ones you can see that. Um, here, there you go. Ten dot eleven and ten dot twelve. So I'm going to assess the VIP. All right. And then we refresh. You can see that it's being load balanced right now. Okay. I'm going to. Do the ping, the continuous ping. All right, so you can see that this is 10.11. I'm going to ping 10.12. And I'll do it the other way around for the other VM. Okay, so the continuous ping are on. Okay, I'm going to vMotion this 
web 02 okay so you know you can do multiple at one go but i'm gonna just do one so it's about um take a look okay so i'm gonna choose the other data center so they are on this j01 i'm gonna choose tai okay i'll just choose storage here because i have no stretch storage like folder so the network you can see that it's uh, on a nsxt logical switch so there's no need to manually select another one because it's configuration is synchronized so I'll let it start the migration okay so I'm going to expand this out a bit so that you can take a look at the pings Okay, we have web zero one over here. We have web zero two over here. Let me organize the screen a bit so that you can actually see the movie motion happening. Okay. So it's still going on. So you can see that you know I still can still assess the both web VMs, right? Okay, then take a look at the motion. Okay, so the console will drop off because it has went to the other vCenter. So take a look over here. So you can see that the VM is over here now. So I have to launch the console again. Right. Oh, Alright, you can see the ping is... Right, they never drop the ping. Pings will never drop. And you know, if I go to the browser to access, you can see that you know both VMs are still being load balanced, right? So this concludes the live migration demo. So you can you can see that um, so this this NSXT logical switch really helps. Uh, so you do you know whether is it data center evacuation where you need to live migrate VMs, um, you know there's no need to change IP address, right? Okay, so 
that's about it so i hope this video is useful to you um and see you next time